Bhaktor. Hare Krishna. Hallelujah. Radhe Krishna. Namaste. Today is August the 30th. 8302018. 2018 8.3 is 11. Plus 0 is 11. Plus 2 is 13. Plus 0 is 13. Plus 1 is 14. Plus 8 is what? 22. It's again 22. Today? 2 and 2, 4. It's a 4 day. And Thursday is Thor's day. Or Jupiter's day. Or Zeus's day. Jupiter, Zeus, Jesus, Jesus day. Sun's God day. Son of God's day. Every day. Every day. Deity. Agnes Day, Angus Day, Ankas, Bankas Day. Bank us. They've banked us. They've banged us. We're going to do dictionary divination to start today before continuing on with Foreseen Beyond Time. Heat wave. Man, is it yesterday how over 100 degree heat index? Well, look at that beautiful dragonfly. It's a dragonfly like the size of a hummingbird. He's very interested in me. Dictionary. Maybe the dragonfly wants some. Oh, there's another one. It's it's it's. Uh... Alrighty, where are we today? Where is my middle finger? Oh, that's interesting. I was just thinking there might be something related to the dragonfly coming up here. And what do I come to? Debug. Debug. Verb, remove the errors from, as a computer program. D-E-B-U-G. See if I can, I don't wanna, see if I can video this uh, dragonfly, it's huge. A little bit of aerosol spray today, of course, as always. So uh, that, that's my cue, I guess, to go into uh, D, the letter D today. Because we've done H, we've done A, we've done E. Now it's time for D. D. Debug. D word forming element to, to, to remove. To de destroy. To D. De oh, the word death, right? D F. To take away. Life. D, the fourth letter, it's equivalent to four. So as, I've, as I keep saying, all of the letters' alphabetical positions are, number positions are equivalent to that letter. D is four. Fourth letter of the English alphabet, Roman numeral for 500. Grabbing a pen, <laughs> sorry about that. <clears throat> we'll use this little Sharpie paper for this. So D is the Phoenician, in its etymology, it's the Phoenician Daleth and the Delta of Greek, okay? D equals four, right? What is the so whatever you say about D, Daleth or Delta, like the Delta Corporation, the Greek Delta, right? It's the frickin' tri angle. Look how much it's like the four, the four with the tri angle. Delta Daleth of death. Four seasons, four elements, four directions, sign of earth and astrology, the circle with the cross, Haken cross, criss cross, Christ. This is, uh, so it's D is four, two twice, two, two, two plus two, right? So this is why just like the word forming element by meaning to, you have die meaning to, 
or and that's Fanetta as a homophone with D I E D I E to die cuz to be born is one and to die is two D I D I E and also D I A meaning across where you get the two you make the two from of pi by dividing the circle in two and when you're in two you're in dia India you're in dia you're in dia in two India is not a country just like Israel is not a country it's a it's a condition it's what it is to be in the biology, biology, to be in a body. That's your two. Whereas your soul preceding and exceeding your birth, your death, your one and your two, your womb and your tomb, is your one. What does the Delith, Dalith, Delta mean? It means door, <clears throat> which is why door begins with the letter D. D-O-O-R, which is four letters. <clears throat> Look, just on my face, we can illustrate clearly that all of the doors, all of the wind, the eyes are the windows of the soul, the window, the door, the opening, the nostrils of gnosis, knowledge in the center. To right hemisphere is faith, <clears throat> left hemisphere is thinking, <clears throat> central corpus callosum is knowing, the knowing of the nose. I know, he knows. Gnosis. Diagnosis. Diagnosis. Prognosis, pronosis. The ear, the orifices, opening of the doors. Dorothy Theodore, meaning gift of God. That's what this is. Given gift of God. The sun, the light. John 1 5, God is light, and in him or it, photon, there is no darkness. Science is the left hemisphere, religion is the right hemisphere. You put them together, you come into knowing. And the name Isidore, Isidore. Isa, Isis, the mother, Mary, Maria, Rhea, Dor, mother of Jupiter, Zeus, Jesus, Horus. Is a door, the gift door of Isis, the mother, all who is. We're not going to have a lot of time for uh, foreseeing beyond time, but we're going to continue the chapter 10, the end of chapter 10, we'll do today. We'll have time for that, I think. Thus, the 21st century of our time sees this 12th, or Pisces consciousness and its inherent mystery written very large over the firmament of the heavens. Until 2011, Uranus is in Pisces. You see, Uranus prepares the, this whole enlightenment potential of our new mankind, awakening the DNA, DNA of people to this Piscean music of the spheres, while Neptune will mystify and dissolve these matters, giving them new forms of formlessness whereas Pluto will later transform them yet again, but much more radically so. Shape-shifting the zones ahead from now until well into 2060 with agility and subtlety, when we ought to reach the acquisition of the blank slate technology, which is awakening, dissolution, transformation, in that order, from 2012 to 2025 to 2048 and beyond. In 2025, Saturn will be conjunct, conjunct Neptune for a while in an interesting switching zone of Pisces 30, and Aries 1, where the Alpha meets the Omega. Aries 1 has this suggestive Sabian symbol of a woman just risen from the sea. A seal is embracing her. Keyword, realization. Whereas Pisces 30 has its, as its Sabian symbol this beautiful, and last of all, the 360 degrees images. 360 degrees images. 
page 80, the very end, we're almost at the chapter 11, Invisible Worlds. A majestic rock formation resembling a face, idealized by a boy who takes it as his ideal of greatness, and as he grows up he begins to look like it. Keyword, discernment. It is best not to interpret this further, but rather to meditate on the imagery and to simply know this is the point in which, re in which reality of Saturn meet Saturn meets surrealism of Neptune. This Saturn-Neptune conjunction phase tells us that 2025 to 26 will be the era when ideals transform, when form and formlessness merge to begin something totally untried. This is the moment of multiple paradigm shapeshifts. From what we have now entered into in 2009, the quest of Pluto and Capricorn, to the new realizations of our own origination, until we make first soul contact with first cosmic source. As you consider it deeply, you see that separation is illusion. Some of us have already realized this eons ago, and we have already seen this future, as we have certainly, as, as we have certainty of inner guided knowing. And yet we all will learn a lot more when 2047 morphs into 2137. The age of time travel begins as we enter the invisible worlds. The invisible worlds will be next. Chapter 11. Foreseen beyond time. Spiral ritual. Spear ritual. Spear ritual. Grrrr.